Well, hi there guys. Today we are fixing my drive shaft. So I bought myself a Dodge Caliber right here and the damn thing has a lot of problems and my nephew just opened himself a garage up in Manchester, close to Manchester, it's like Preston and I'm just taking advantage in my quality as an uncle to use his garage for free. I came to visit him and I was like, ah, oh, let's just change this on my car and then I ended up changing my gear gearbox as well and well, then I ran into some trouble with the drive shaft and thing is, we dropped the damn thing and we broke this thing well, the original one and we bought something because we can't find the original ones on the middle from the long drive shaft here between the two pieces so we had to buy this one and then, guess what? it has these holes here and the original one has some dips, some humps in these three corners so you can fix it so we we tried ordering one but it's friday it's gonna be saturday sunday sometime next week and actually i want to go back towards london where i live so what we're doing we're using some steel fix to fill up this area and actually make this dry shaft look kind of round so we can use this one to keep the Vaseline in there. So stay around, I'll post you something. I have a lot of videos that I've actually made. I didn't have time to edit them because I'm doing something else. I'm not quite a YouTuber. But people that find themselves in the weird position that I'm right now, that they need, actually need the car, at least for a couple of days until they can buy a drive shaft or something or until they get the money or who knows, or especially with this Dodge Calibers because you no longer find parts so easily and it will be even more difficult from now on. Well, and for who knows, whoever wants this idea, well, this is what I'm doing to this one because I can't find this damn rubber thing in the middle. So we are doing this, I'm gonna fix it. The new gearbox is already in there and also because this car has some damn drive shaft gearbox ceilings that you can't quite find so easily, we've had to use some silicone on this one to make it work for a couple more weeks or something without losing too much oil because we took like a good one from the old gearbox and a good one from the new gearbox and they are different sizes on each side I'll show you right here if they didn't throw it, no, right here so there are two sizes one on the left, one on the right one actually if you look for the codes on it it shows up for a Toyota Camry in the United States if you don't find it for Dodge, it's with Toyota Camry. The other one is for a damn land cruise or something. So, anyway, you have some codes. This is dirty. The other one was cleaner and you can read. I'll read for you actually, guys. It's MT0503. This one is the one on the short drive shaft actually on the passenger side here in UK that one and which is thicker and the other one it's actually PH6542F something like that maybe I'll post a picture because I took a screenshot when I was googling it I have a better reading on the other one that I we installed so, what? Yeah, I'm gonna you promote your coffee? channel yourself. You want a fucking coffee? Yeah, I want a shawarma as well. <laughs> Asking you want a fucking coffee? Oh, that's Adrian. It's gonna be Adrian Garage. So Google it, guys. Maybe he's gonna be a big shot one day. For the moment, we're just fixing. Ooh, we got some customers' plate number in all this. But hey, he fixed that damn shit. He did a V8 cam belt timing belt on that one that nobody wanted to do around timing Preston. Check. 
timing chain. All right, so nobody wanted to do that around here in Preston for this customer. He managed to do that one. So look for this break right here. Yeah, bring me a coffee. Yeah, you'll hear <coughs> latte. Yeah, not not so much coffee for me. Not too much caffeine. Yeah, you're you're gonna hear like different languages sometimes on my videos because we're Romanians actually here in UK and hopefully you'll be here after Brexit as well as we've got the settled there on the map. Yeah. Check my videos, subscribe, blah blah blah. I've got eight or seven subscribers up to now. No, no, just making these videos while fixing stuff, while talking politics, while talking shit. Don't let your kids listen to my videos. See you later.